Hi, my name is Ben. And hello, my name is Gwen. We always hear about other syndrome. But have you heard about Fragile X Syndrome? So today, we are going to know about Fragile X Syndrome. So, what is Fragile X Syndrome? Fragile X Syndrome, also referred to as Martin Bell Syndrome, is one of the most common genetic diseases. The condition is caused by the loss of an RNA binding protein, the functional Fragile X Mental Retardation Protein FMRP, that can control the translation of specific mRNAs. A trinucleotide sequence CGG repeated between 6 and 44 times can be found in the usual FMR1 functional gene. Expansion of 55 to 200 repetitions of this sequence in an unmethylated form which generates an unstable sequence. This Fragile X syndrome is accountable for 30% of inherited mental retardation cases and is associated with many cognitive, behavioral, and physical alterations. Martin and Bell identified this Fragile X syndrome in 1943 and followed by other developers who took almost 70 years to observe and research. So Ben, what are the specific symptoms of this syndrome? People with Fragile X syndrome do not all have the same signs and symptoms, but they do have some things in common. Symptoms are often milder in females than in males. Fragile X syndrome presents in three main ways. There are physical features, developmental features, and behavioral and emotional. In term of physical features, Fragile X syndrome basically present with long narrow face, prominent jaw and forehead, and large ear that sticks out. The most common physical features of Fragile X syndrome are just how a normal individual appears. Many people often mistakenly believe that if you have a genetic will affect your abilities and your look will be different. People with Fragile X syndrome also may experience major symptoms in term of developmental features, behavior, and emotional, such as intellectual disabilities, ranging from mild to severe. Secondly, attention deficiency and hyperactivity that especially in young children. Thirdly, autistic behaviors, such as hand flapping and not making eye contact anxiety and unstable mood next sensory integration problems such as hypersensitivity to loud noises or bright lights speech delay with expressive language is more severely affected than receptive language last but not least seizures affect about 25 percent of people with fragile x syndrome ben what is the treatment for this syndrome and can this syndrome be cured there is no cure for fragile x syndrome but there are treatments that help minimize the symptoms of the condition. There are three types of treatment, which are education, therapy, and medical treatment. Education treatment is a special treatment for intellectual disability. Therapy treatments such as a speech-language therapist, occupational therapist, behavioral therapists, and physical therapist can help out the patients. Medication treatment, like stimulant medications, is to treat ADHD symptoms. The patients get evaluation by a reproductive endocrinologist for premature ovarian insufficiency. Gwen, do you know how is the Fragile X Syndrome inherited? Fragile X Syndrome is a chromosome X-linked monogenic disorder that arises from a complex X and 1 mutation in the FMR gene, which is also known as Fragile X-linked mental retardation type 1, that is located in the long arm of chromosome X in band Q27.3. This modification was triggered by an increase in the number of cytosine guanine guanine CGG repetitions. Such abnormal CGG expansion leads to FMR1 gene hypermethylation and consequent silencing. Therefore, the FMRP that stands for Fragile X Mental Retardation Protein is absent. FMRP is a selective protein that binds to RNA and is associated with polyribosomes and functions as a negative translation regulator. FMRP plays a role in synaptic plasticity by regulating the synthesis of proteins encoded by certain mRNAs localized in the dendrite. This results in FMR1 transcription inhibition and resulting decreased levels of protein in the brain. Oh, Ben, how common is the Fragile X syndrome? And is there a certain race it is most common in? The exact number of people having this disease is unknown, but it can be seen approximately 1 in 4,000 males and 1 in every 8,000 females. This disease can occur to anyone regardless ethnic or race. It can affect both males and females. However, females are more likely to have milder symptoms than males. Well, how long is the average lifespan of a person with this syndrome? People with this syndrome usually have a normal average lifespan. Some of them have good health 
and are able to lead an active lifestyle. In contrast, others may be prone to have various health problems such as ear infection, difficulty sleeping, seizures, and gastrointestinal disorders. Those with this disease are advised to have regular medical checkups to ensure their health is optimal. Children may or may not inherit this fragile X gene from their parents. So, how is the family of a person with this syndrome affected? Family with fragile X syndrome children may face many challenges to raise their child. This is because children with fragile X syndrome will experience communication difficulties, delay in their development, and intellectual disabilities that needs for parents to pay more attention and extra care for them. Parents must understand well about this disease, on how it progresses, and how it inherited from one generation to another. The family may also be affected in part of their financial as well as employment, according to the National Center on Birth Defects and Developmental Disabilities (CDC). With RTI International, it is recorded that percentage of a family with fragile X syndrome children experiencing a negative impact on their financial, working hour, and employment are significantly higher than those family with autism spectrum disorder only, or intellectual disability only, or both autism spectrum disorder and intellectual disability. Parents may spend a lot of money to fulfill the complex needs of this child, such as special therapy, education treatment, medical intervention, and medication that help to minimize their symptoms. This disease may give emotional effect at first on the family to accept the fact that one of their family member having this disease, as this fragile X syndrome is genetic and inherited disorder, other family members should get tested too because they could be suffering from the same illness. Gwen, what have you learned personally from researching this syndrome? I have learned that fragile X syndrome has a huge impact on the individuals. Individuals with fragile X syndrome will have to go through an abundance of difficulties in their lives, especially when they are children, compared to normal individuals. This is due to the delayed development that they inherit. The best mechanism for these individual to practice to cope with this disability is to go for counseling or therapies. Another important thing for individuals with this disorder is to be surrounded by encouraging and supportive family members and friends as there is no cure for fragile X syndrome. Due to the extreme complications, parents who have children with fragile X syndrome mostly experience many concerns and stress in thinking about future of their child. Even with all the hardship, some individuals with fragile X syndrome can live a fulfilling life and be independent when they become adults. As a precaution, I have learned that people with family history related to intellectual disability must be fully aware about this genetic disorder because it can be passed down to other generations. Do you have any suggestions that relate to fragile X syndrome? Some suggestion to prevent misunderstanding regarding the disorder is to gain awareness on fragile X syndrome. People need to be informed more about genetic disease to help them know the risk or sign of fragile X syndrome and understand the life of the affected person. Another suggestion is for parents who have family history related to intellectual disability can have a genetic testing and genetic counseling to get more information. Besides that, special education programs and therapy treatment for children with fragile X syndrome need to be expanded by the government or private agencies to provide help to the affected individuals to ensure they live normally and socialize. Additionally, hospital personnel or concerned representatives can build an organization for parents with affected children to support them emotionally and financially for those who need help. Last but not least, the parents should be provided with more knowledge on medications given to their affected child for behavioral problems, especially about the indication and side effects of the medications. So, what is the conclusion you have deducted? As we already discussed, fragile X syndrome and FXS is one of the most common genetic diseases caused by genetic mutation that leads to intellectual disability and behavior problems in affected individuals. There are plenty of therapies and education treatments for this disorder, but there is no found cure. The medications typically used is only to treat behavior disorder, not treat the whole disorder. Furthermore, this disease can affect both males and females from all races. The affected individuals may have a lot of challenges throughout their lives, 
but some of them are able to lead an independent lifestyle, like any other normal person. I have also summarized that, this genetic disorder is caused by the changes in the genes. That particular gene is called fragile X-linked mental retardation type 1. This gene makes the protein called FMRP a fragile X mental retardation protein, which is needed for normal brain development. People with fragile X syndrome do not have this protein, which lead them to abnormal brain development. Next, I will outline the major symptoms of this disease, which are intellectual disabilities, delayed development, and behavior problems. In this case, we will see the person showing trouble in learning new skills, not talking as other children with same age, and experience anxiety. These complex symptoms can be diminished by undergoing treatment. There are several treatments for people with fragile X syndrome, such as educational treatment for learning, medication treatment for behavior problems, and therapy treatment like occupational therapist for better living. The family member of a person with this disorder will face tough challenges in raising the affected child until they become an adult. Parents and patients of fragile X syndrome need support and motivation from others in their life. Thank you for your time and joining us in this journey. See you again.